Okay, so now I'm gonna work on a uh, thermal tape CTE uh, E600 MX case. This is a uh, snow edition. So, uh, as you can see, there's ample space for multiple uh, radiators, sizes, thickness. You know, this case is very big. Okay, as you can see. And the uh, motherboard is oriented like this. So this is the, where you install the GPU and this is the, uh, the port on the top. So you can... Uh, okay, I'll remove. Yeah. So you will route your USB cables here. Okay, or here. So it depends. Okay, looking forward to start working on this one. Uh, this, oh wait. This is the components that's gonna be used. Uh, also a 4090 uh, NVIDIA 4090 Founders Edition. Okay. Also thermal tape uh, EX magnetic fans. Uh, power supply it's a 1200 this is also a snow edition crosshair extreme of course my favorite rams thermal take uh, tough ram xg okay so here is samples of the uh, fans so this is magnetic okay uh, <coughs> i don't know if because this is a white and blue theme build so I'm thinking I may be painting some parts of the motherboard white like this one and this this is very delicate but I'll, uh, I'll take care of it I think I want to so that you know it would look much better uh, on the build okay and later I'll disassemble this to put the uh, water block also the water cooling parts um, yeah. here are the dies that would be used with the T1000 clear coolant this is a very good coolant uh, I really recommend this and I almost use it almost in all my builds now I like this one oh, also the uh, CPU block and this time I'm going to be using a uh, distro plate with a D5 pump on it. Okay. Um, maybe I'm going to put it here. Okay. And uh, now Thermaltake has their uh, snow edition radiators. So it's good for them that they did that. Because before they only have black ones. So if I need a white radiator, I have to paint those. But now they have uh, their uh, radiators. You have an option to get a white one or a black one. Okay, this is their copper radiator. Okay, thanks to uh, Thermal Tape, also Andy, and my uh, of course my client. Okay, and uh, let's start the build. So uh, here's the motherboard now. I fully disassembled uh, everything. So uh, I would just I was just glad that this was removable so I could paint uh, this part uh, better okay it was very time consuming preparation but uh, I think it's all well, well worth it so as you can see this looks much better now this part no need to paint okay just painted the aluminum panels this uh, these are some small details but uh, this accumulates to a uh, very good clean you know, proper build okay here is the build now I've uh, installed most of the parts 
Also, here's the painted motherboard. I also painted the CPU block. Okay, so this looks good. Very good. I like it. And then, um, I've already installed the uh, radiators, the thermal tape copper radiators. Uh, this one not yet because I'm still figuring out if I'd uh, mount it like this or or uh, this one will go uh, on the bottom. Okay, so I also painted the distro plate on the back uh, white just on the back so that when so the coolant could be better seen okay and uh, also the aluminum parts here and here I will also painted white including the the client wanted an LCD panel inside so cuz I'm gonna put it right here cuz this is a big space here so maybe I'll mount it this way but before that I would cut an acrylic uh, to cover this unnecessary holes that are, uh, that's here and then install this okay but uh, I'm still gonna figure out where to properly put this okay so yeah I've also done the uh, cables sleeve cables okay so for now that's it and then I'm gonna prep the uh, uh, GPU and the GPU block and install it here so here is the build now okay so as you can see uh, I've uh, painted some of the parts I'm still gonna do the acrylic cover here and maybe also here so when the client puts his uh, Cables or keyboard, mouse, USB, etc. would not be seen. Okay, I'll just cover this. And then um, I'll put also the aluminum panels here and here on the top for the LED strips. So it took me a long time to decide for this kind of layout. I'll just get a chair. Okay. So this is the third layout that I've done. I've, I've already done my first. It's okay. Just connecting the uh, CPU and the GPU and then to the radiator. It's quite good. But uh, it's, it's too common or it's... Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I didn't like it. And then I did a second tube layout. You know, I removed everything and at first this shoes uh, like go there there you know and um, as the second layout was very it what, what it was better but it mostly it covers this side this part uh, it covers the uh, reservoir so i decided to scrap again the uh, second layout so I, what i did this it uh, this two tubes is now the final so this this is a tree bent but this is very difficult to perfect took me a very long time also this uh experience uh mother's knows this okay like this to make it exactly squared on every angle on the top on the front on the bottom on the sides this is very very hard to do I've done four or five bends but ah uh, this this particular one took me more than the usual it's very hard uh, so it's gonna go like this on the top okay like this I don't know if you can get it and uh, this one will go like this okay I'll let you see later because I'm still finalizing there's millimeter difference I need to cut 
in here this tube and another maybe one or two millimeter here I'll just file this so that it would be perfect as I uh, like it so yeah this looks like almost finished but there's so much things uh, small details touch-ups you know that need to be done you know before putting uh, the coolant so yeah I'll go ahead then and also I'm gonna do because uh, this is uh, stock parts is I think black I'll, I'll repaint all the panels here also you know uh, these are just small every single one of them I think uh, I don't know where I put it but it's black so I'll paint it white or replace it at, you know and uh, those are uh, just small small details but uh, when put together it it has an impact on the uh, the total outcome of uh, every build okay so I not uh, taken videos of the, some other things that I've done but it's fine you will see the end result okay and I'll be back when uh, I'm filling the loop because I, I need I need to do lots more stuff so yeah okay guys now I've uh, installed the acrylic a uh, very thick acrylic I think this is a six millimeter acrylic, uh, acrylic panel and then painted it white okay so it's a much cleaner look now and uh, this is how I tidy up uh, it's, uh, just a small tip when you want to tidy up wires of RGB cables or other wires so what I do is I get a dual black adhesive tape. This is a rubberized um, one. So I stick it on the wires and then stick it on the, I don't know if you can see, okay on the sides of the case. So it would not be dangling around here so it's slightly hidden so it's gonna look the wires so you see you don't see many wires right because this is mounted here okay so do this this already has one so just do it like this okay and that would stick there okay so it's gonna look very clean so I did finally decided that I'm gonna put it here on the top of the uh, reservoir for the reasons that because of this uh, connector cable okay now it's much much cleaner there because at first I was gonna put it here uh, in, in between the tubes right here but the problem is the cable is gonna be like this and it's very very seen in front of the build or uh, yeah so that's initially where I'm gonna put it and then second option was just put it here also to cover the uh, USB ports whatever but uh, it also covers the logo of the motherboard and I didn't like it so this is the best option for it and the uh, connector cable is not that noticeable as compared here okay so yeah also I've uh, sleeved uh, the D5 pump and um, here's the aluminum cover for the LED that I've bent and install so there's the LEDs also down here for the uh, LED I supposed to be I'm gonna put it just right here but the problem is the light the fans and the radiators radiator is gonna block the lighting and I want uh, 
lighting to be uh, I want the tubes to be properly exposed to the lighting so it looks good outside okay and then um, lastly before I install the final tubes um, this is how I set my cables so this would just take a, a whole day to set you know you put many zip ties on it you line up every single uh, cable okay it has to be like this and then you zip tie it one by one align again zip tie one by one until in the end okay after one day you know you could remove half of the zip ties and just leave at least one or two uh, maybe just on the end because this will set okay I'll try removing half first if it holds it's okay and then remove it remove remove okay and that's how I do it now, this is a much better uh, way to do it okay so it's gonna be much cleaner you know okay finally I'm just gonna clean the tubes wash it and uh, spray uh, use an air compressor and then install and then um, we'll uh, gonna fill up the loop okay